Christmas, if you pass into your store drives, and your Christmas cost rate should be ready on that one. Woman on the Run is a multimedia installation that I'm doing here at Selfridges. It has video, sculpture, small sculpture, sound, um, light. It's influenced by Alfred Hitchcock and film noir and the American landscape. It also um, makes a comment on women in film in the 1950s and their roles even today. The whole thing about this woman on the run is that this woman is wanted for the disappearance of her husband. So throughout the installation here in the Ultra Lounge and the installation in the window, uh, there are clues given through the film and through images. And so the viewer is left to decide if she killed her husband, what happened, is she innocent or is she uh, a cold-blooded killer. That businessman about town, Victor Hayden. If you see this woman, please call your local police department. And a 92 degree high for Friday and Saturday for the Guatemalan Festival. This. Please, gents, I make sure every single person. Search for a late captain driving victim is over. definitely parallels in this exhibition to sort of what's happening in the American landscape today. I mean, one of the things that I always think is interesting when I go back to the States, I've been here for a long time, is that you can be sort of in Phoenix or be in, um, you know, Burlington, Vermont, and a lot of the things that you see are the same. You've got the Walmarts, you've got the kind of um, strip mall sensation, and so the landscape has kind of changed in lots of ways, and sort of what this exhibition is showing is kind of how it used to be, you know, in, in, Granted, every motel that you come across in different states is going to be different, but this idea that it's no longer, it, it's kind of become a mick world in America, and I think that the, the that this landscape is kind of being lost. I think it's really interesting I love that you've got big buildings that you can walk right into and really look around but at the same time you've got little ones that are kind of model size, it's just really interesting. I mean I had a look around this morning and come back just to have another peek just to see if my opinion has changed and every time you come in you see just a little bit of something else that's different so you're never quite sure if she is the victim or if she is actually the perpetrator at all. I think it's great, um, I've never seen anything like this done before in the store. Um, it's very original, very authentic um, and it shows a lot about the uh, murder mystery media type thing that it's all about. Oh, that's really 